I think this hat is a little small for me. <laughs> anyway, Merry Christmas! And it's Marina from Tech Muse here with another tutorial. We're going to extract the data from MongoDB Atlas to the HTML using the EGEJS package. What do you think about that? I think it's pretty dope. So without further ado, subscribe to my channel. Uh, Merry Christmas again and let's go! Okay guys, so in this tutorial we are going to extract data from our MongoDB atlas to HTML through a simple way uh, by using EGS. So let's start. First of all, I'm going to show you which databases I currently have in my MongoDB atlas. So let's go to MongoDB atlas. Let's open it up. Uh -huh. Sign in. Log in. If you don't know how to connect your app to MongoDB Atlas. I have another tutorial on that one. So please check that out. For now, I go to collections. Uh, and it's loading and it's loading and it's loading. So you see, I have blog database, items, movies, blah, blah, blah. What do we have in movies database? Okay, we can use this one. I like this one. We have the Incredible Hulk. My favorite of Hulk movies and the Avengers. So let's start. Sorry, I got distracted by the cat. Anyway, let's go to our terminal. My cat is a bit crazy today. <laughs> let's see the into desktop, desktop and create a new directory that we will call um, mongo html okay cd into mongo html and uh, what do we want to create here we want to create server.js file and index dot uh, okay and that's it for now okay just server.js file and now we want to install um, express and um, EG, EJS, okay. Ah, I forgot, we need also to install Mongoose. Let's also install Mongoose. And go to our VS Code, open up our new folder, Mongo HTML. And here we're going to do the usual stuff. Express equal require express mongoose uh, equal require mongoose app equal express app dot okay let's also create EJ, EJS okay and what else do we need? We need app.set with each EJS. What you need to do is to set the view engine to EJS. Okay. And with mongoose, we just connect it. Mongoose.connect. Here we'll have the URL. And here we'll have the app. Listen at port, I don't know, 4000. Um, server is running okay so now let's connect our mongodb atlas so we go we go here and uh, remember our database is called movies db so let's go back to clusters click on connect connect your application copy this line here let's go here paste it right here and here instead of db name let's just say movies db and we also have to specify the password here okay and just to check that everything is working let's just say app.get request uh, res.send working okay now we can start our server 
all. And now if we go to localhost 4000, we should see that it's working. Okay, it's working. So guys, here I would like to point out the difference between HTML and EJ, uh, EJS format. So for example, here, when you have HTML file, you just specify, let's, let's create one, one file. It will be just index.html, okay? And here we'll have a, a simple, I don't know, h1 that says HTML here. Uh, what you do with HTML files is you can simply send file and here instead of, uh, here you specify the location of the file, yeah? So dear name plus slash index.html. And now if you go back here, you can see HTML here. But with EJS files, what you do is first you need to create a separate folder for those files. So let's go here and uh, and create a new folder that we will call, it should be called views. And it is very important. It should be called views. And inside views, let's create a new file that will be index.ejs. Okay. And here we will just copy everything from HTML file. So it's basically the same, but now EJS format allows us to incorporate some JavaScript inside this HTML file. That is pretty handy. So now how do we render this file? Uh, we go to our server.js and instead of sending file, we res.render file. And uh, we don't have to specify the location because it already knows that the file we want to render is located in the folder called views. So all you have to do is to specify the name of the file. So in this case, index. Okay, so now let's save like this and you'll see the result is the same, is the same result. Okay, cool. So now what EJ EJS allows you to do is to specify in here as a second argument, a JavaScript object with any field that you want. So for example, here you will have uh, something and here equals to something, okay? Okay, why do I use something? Let's just say name equals to name, okay? Okay, it will be confusing for you. Okay, let's do like this. User name equals to name, okay? Uh, and here in app.get, we will create this uh, let name equal to Marina. Okay, so now we create this name variable and we pass it here. So we pass this username to our index.ejs file. So now in our index.ejs file, we can access this username. Let's uh, and it will be equal to name, which is Marina. So let's go to our index ejs file and let's see how we can incorporate it here. HTML here. Let's, for example, instead of writing HTML here, we want to write Marina here and uh, we want to use that variable name, which was username. Okay, so how do we do that with EG, uh, EJS, in, um, EJS syntax? Oh my god, I'm a mess. <laughs> uh, let's do like this. We just specify open, uh, I don't know how you call it. Okay, just follow my syntax here. We open the bracket and then we specify the percentage sign and then the equal sign. And then we specify the name of the variable, which is user name. And then we specify the percentage sign and we close the bracket. Okay, so now it should say Marina here. Now it received the username in this file. Let's check it out. You see, if we refresh, it says Marina here. So with, with the same logic, we can use um, any any variable we can pass any variables from our server to our html essentially okay so back to our mongo db we are using the movies database so anyway we need to create the movies schema and the movie model here 
So let's do that. Const movies schema equals to an object where we have what do we have there? Let's check. Let's check. Let's go back to our collections and to our movies database. We have a title, genre, and the year. Okay, so we will have title, which will be a string genre. String, uh, what's happening? Why? Okay, and the year. Okay, let's do it also string. Mm, it's not the point. <laughs> and we create our movie model, yeah? So movie model will be <laughs> mongoose dot model. We will have movie and uh, movies schema. Okay, so now we can use this movie model to get all the movies here. So let's delete all of these and then index HTML or index.ejs. We delete everything here and let's pass our movie data to HTML table, yeah? Yes, that reminds me, we need also bootstrap link, but we'll do that later. And here we take our movie model, movie.find, we find all the movies in the database, and then we have access to the function here, where we will have all these found movies. And then what do we want to do with those movies? We want to pass them to our index.ejs file so that then we can loop through them and put them into the HTML table. Okay, so let's do that. Um, let's, uh, what, the, how do we do that? Let's just think about this. I'm a bit confused. Uh, okay, here we just specify res.render, uh, the name of ejs file which in our case is index.ejs and then comma and an object. What variables, what data we want to pass to this index.ejs file. In our case, we want to pass movies list, which is uh, here is just movies. Why? I don't like these pop-ups. Come on, I don't need them. Movies, okay? So like this, oops. Now we can receive this movies list in our index.ejs file. And here, because it's not an HTML format, we can write as if we were in a JavaScript file. So for example, we have we said we have access to movies list. And uh, what do we want to do? We want for each, and here we will have all, what do we have for each um, movie? We want to uh, to create, for example, a paragraph with, uh, and here we specify. <laughs> I almost messed it up with uh, with uh, ES six syntax. What do we have here? Uh, we want here movie dot, for example, movie dot title. But we cannot write it like this, so we need to enclose it between these tags. Open bracket, percentage sign, equal sign, and then percentage sign, closed tag. I guess it's like this, yes. So now, um, this is the syntax to specify uh, variables, right? But to we need also to enclose the JavaScript syntax, so JavaScript lines inside ejjs tags, which is in this case is open percentage, and then at the end of the line we specify percentage close, and the same we do on this line, open percentage and percentage close. Okay, so let's save and let's see what we have. <laughs> Very interesting. For each movie title, cannot read property for each of now. Why? We don't receive movies list? Come on, we just passed it here. Yes, we found all the movies and then we passed it here. 
okay what's uh, maybe here we have the function of with two arguments the first uh, argument is an error and then the movies okay maybe this will help i don't know yes it works now we have our movies title coming from mongodb atlas in plain html just using the e a bit of ejs syntax okay so now as promised let's put it in the table for this i will go to bootstrap max cdn yes and we copy this link here and we paste it in our index.ejs and then we look for we look for a table table yes please yes yes this one is okay copy and we paste it let's delete this here we paste it here okay and as we are going to look through we don't need actually this or this let's see how it looks okay we have a table so now in our table which headers are we going to have first one will be title if you want we can also make id <laughs> title then we uh, id title uh, genre and uh, year yeah so here for example instead of one we want to pass um, for each movie we want this hmm let's delete this line here and copy all of this code I mean cut all of this code someplace here okay and we are going to cut this part here with the table rows inside these brackets. So now what we are saying is we loop through the movies list and for each movie, what do we return? We return the table rows with table heading. So the first one is, as we said, the movie.id. Oops, <laughs> I did it again. Mm. And the syntax of EJS, as we said, is open bracket percentage sign equal sign uh, then we specify movie dot id low dash id because it's come it comes from the mongodb and then percentage sign close and uh, if you want you can copy this here because it's not very pleasant to type <laughs> and here instead of movie dot low dash id you specify movie dot title and here you specify movie.genre and here is movie dot what do we have a year let's save and go back to our browser Ta -da! amazing no guys you can do anything you want with data you can then pass and get and to the table and from the server to the database EJS is a very useful thing, but once you master the React or other framework, similar framework, you don't really need this, you don't really need this. I hope this tutorial and the quality of sound was good and the video was good and you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.